All right, what's up, YouTube? Today, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to play arcade games online with MAME. Now, MAME32++ is the one that I like the most because it supports more than one game online. You'll see other people using specific versions of MAME to play one game online, like MK which I'm not an MK guy, so I don't do that. I just use this one because it has the ability to play more than, you know, five or six games online. You can play a shit ton of games online with this one. So I'm going to open up MAME. All right, so yours, when you get yours, it's probably not going to be this cool. So <clears throat> yours is just going to be plain white. And it should show like a little MAME picture right here for every single game you have. If you have any at all. You probably won't see any games. You'll probably start out on the All Games tab and it'll just show every single game that's documented or whatever. So, pretty much, <laughs> if you want to be able to find out what games are able to be played on here, you would scroll down to working and when you go download the games online you would want to make sure that the zip file would say what these say like for instance if you're looking for four fun and one it would just be the zip file would be called four and one or uh let's try no, let's look at a different one here like afterburner be a burner two, after burner two. Okay, so once you get your games, you could really put them anywhere on your computer. I made a specific folder called uh, Mame ROMs or something like that. So, what you want to do is you want to go to options, and you want to go to directories, and you want to leave that like that. ROMs. So right here is where you would put your directory. So you would hit browse, and then you would find and select the folder with your ROMs. I don't need to do anything because it's already selected for me. So once you do that, you probably hit go up to available. And then you'd hit like refresh. And down at the bottom, you see it's loading up all of my games. And you can see some of them turning you know, green or whatever, which means they're able to be played. And, uh, yeah, so once this is done loading, I'll show you how to play them online. All right. Actually, first, you want to go to your default game options. Um, really, the only thing that you need to focus on is if you want to run it in window mode or not. Want, to, want it to be full screen, you uncheck this and hit apply. I like running it in window mode, so I'll just leave it at that. <coughs> and uh, controllers, I just use enable joystick input. And um, I actually have a, a homemade arcade stick that I used to use, and it worked perfectly with me, but I took it apart because some things were, it wasn't built the way I wanted it to be built. But it worked perfectly, and I used it forever. But I kind of just told myself, I'm only going to use it again when I build it the way I want it to look. So, once you got everything like how I just told you, hit apply or just hit cancel, depending on what it's already set on or whatever, however you want it. So you're ready to play online now. Your game showed up in your available list. So now you just want to hit file. Go down to Calera Netplay. You're going to see a window like this. Make sure you have a nickname. Connection settings should be LAN. Uh, master setting. Or master servers, my bad. And you're going to wait for all the servers to be found. Generally, you'd like to play on the 
server with the least amount of ping. But uh, say you're on, you're you're gonna play a game with someone on the other side of the country. You would uh, probably try to find a server that would be not too bad for both of you guys. Like I'm on the East Coast, and I have a friend that's in California, which is the West Coast. So usually we play on Mortal Kombat War Room, and it works out just fine. So once you join the server, the host will hit CR, which stands for Create Room, and it would show your directory, basically, all the games, and you select whatever game you and your buddy are going to play. Let me see if I might need to turn it down. It might be really loud when I start the game. So once the other person joins here, you would hit start. I'm gonna turn it down because I know it's probably gonna be crazy. Oh, it's already turned down. Cool. So pretty much, once the game starts, you and your buddy should be ready to go. And uh, yeah. So what I would recommend doing before you play online was would be to open the game by itself or by yourself and hit tab down to input this game and you uh, all players would just do player one start and coin one start and then player one up down left right and then the buttons don't do the custom because they don't do shit and yes players two three and four would also do player one start you don't ever do player two or player three or player four everybody needs to do player one controls is how it is. You only do player two controls when you're playing locally with somebody in real life or something like that at your house or whatever. But if you're doing that play, everybody needs to do player one. So yeah, that's pretty much that. That's pretty much how you play MAME online. Um, if you have any questions on anything, just let me know. Uh, if you're curious to how I got these pictures up here for each game, all you really need to do is open up the game and uh, screenshot with F12. And it should show up a picture. And uh, this is, I just right click right here and I just wanted to show the uh, snapshots. And if you're trying to put a background image like the space shit like I got, just go to options, background image, and it'll pull up a window for you to select pictures from your computer, from a, somewhere on your computer. Not all pictures work. Certain pictures work. Most of them didn't work for me, so I had to keep going until I found one that was cool, and I thought that this was cool enough. So uh, <clears throat> I hope I helped somebody today. If, Like I said, if you have any questions... Just reach out. I'll try my best to answer. I will also provide a uh, download link for the MAME32++. So stay tuned uh, for more videos. Hope I helped.